Okay, I think I got this set up where you can see it. We're going to go ahead and start to glue up. All of these strips have been ripped into two and a quarter inch widths. And we're going to glue them up and put them in this jig. Hopefully, I won't run out of glue. I see my girls didn't close the bottle for me yesterday when we got done. Here we go. There may not be a lot of talking during this video, so it's going to be self-explanatory. I'm gluing these up on a nine foot radius, excuse me, a 10 foot radius. I had to put an extension on the end of my table, an eye bolt with some braided fishing line, something that wouldn't stretch so I could get a good radius. I'm gonna glue up my roller first. There we go. All right, let's do those first three. This should probably take, I'm going to say, about 10 minutes. I've got to stop at the end of this first row where I can keep them all even. And I've got my one piece of wood tacked into my frame so that... Um, they don't come past the ends of the last block and try to change the profile. I don't want that to happen. Okay, so I'm gonna stack up the first three. the two at a time. I didn't have my stop in there yesterday, but I find it necessary in order to not have to deal with trying to straighten them up after they're glued. Because the glue starts to set right away. Yes, I'm a fan of shantyboatliving.com and I've been thinking about doing this for three or four years ever since I built my little electric boat. I'm finally getting around to it. And like my dad said to me when we built our last boat, I'm 70 years old. This is the last project I'll probably ever do. And I know what he was talking about. That was 20 years ago. using the tight bond glue. I kind of like it better than the Gorilla Glue. All of this is going to be above the water line and I don't expect the roof to, to leak. So I'm not worried about it coming apart.
gonna take a block and knock these all down after we get them in the jig. Make sure they're down flat. Harder to move now. Lord, don't let me run out of glue today. I hate to have to come back tomorrow and add one strip to this thing. Yes, I'm putting another bead of glue on this last one. I'm going to turn it upside down. This is all said and done. I'm actually going to lose about eight inches off the tip of each one of these, and it's still going to give me about a six inch overhang. So, all right, got them all evened up. Looks pretty good. First thing I do. Is I tap her down. When you're doing this, be sure you start from the metal and work my way out. What I was going to say was, when you're doing this, you have to be sure you don't have any little bits of glue left on your table while you're working. That way, all your little frames won't be held up by anything hard. If it's held up by anything, it'll be by a crooked cut or something. I like to start from the inside and work my way out. That way, it gives them half a chance to catch up with themselves. I let my granddaughters help me do this yesterday. I told them, after I'm gone, you can tell everybody I helped build that roof.
And that's it for the glue up. I'm going to go around and tighten those up a little bit. Oh wow, low battery. I don't know how much of that you saw, but uh, there it is, it's finished. And what we're going to do when they're all done is we're going to run them through that 12 inch planer over there and even them up on the sides, get them stained. And these will leave me enough room to put in an inch of roof insulation a little tack strip and nail up a sheet of quarter inch Luan to uh, hide everything and make it all pretty.